Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creative Adventures. I bet you can't guess what I'm doing today. Go ahead, guess. Guess. Okay, yeah, you got me. I'm making soap. That's what I'm doing. I'm making soap. <laughs> If you saw my last batch, my last video, it was almost a complete fail. I did manage to get a good bar of soap out of it. It was definitely a design fail. And I'm gonna try to do the same thing again today. I'm going to try to replicate exactly what I did wrong this week for a new batch of soap. Yeah, no, that's probably sounds really, really silly, but just hang in there, hang in there with me. All right, so I'm not gonna go over everything. I'm using the exact same recipe that I used last time. It's got palm, coconut oil, um, olive oil, avocado oil, and shea butter. And I will post that recipe on my blog, and the link for that blog will be in my description below. I am using a new fragrance this time. This time I'm using this pineapple cilantro fragrance, and this is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. To be perfectly honest, I don't smell as much cilantro in it as I would like. It smells really, really fresh and pineapple-y. Really fresh and pineapple-y. But I don't get the cilantro note, which I'm a little disappointed about. Um, we'll see. I might pick it up once it's actually in the soap because that pineapple is just coming through so strong straight out of the bottle. So we'll see. I'm going to be making five different colors for this batch, though. That's right, five. Okay, not, not ten. Five. Uh, we're doing white with some titanium dioxide. I've got this, uh, is this the one I used last time? Yeah, the lily pad green, which is the color that I used in the, the almost failed soap, uh, which was what I used for the grass color. It actually turns out like a little bit of a sea foam. I've got this baby grasshopper green, which probably really will turn out like sea foam, but you can see they are a little bit different. One's a little darker and more tealish than the other. And then I've got this golden pineapple, golden pineapple yellow. It's a really, really nice bright yellow. Uh, and then I have this from when I made that orange soap. It's fizzy lemonade. This one's from Brambleberry. So there are two different color yellows there. So the four of those colors plus my white will be my five colors. For this soap, I'm going to be using this mold. This is my 12 bar mold from Brambleberry. Um, this is the one that I used, I bought for that charcoal face soap, but here's what I'm gonna try to do. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, so I'm gonna put all of my colors into separate little pouring containers like this, and I'm going to try to pour them one at a time from different corners of my little rectangles, you know, like from different corners in each one maybe some from the middle, until I get rings. <laughs> That's the only way I know how to describe it. So kind of a stripey ring pattern. I'm pretty sure this technique has a name, but I have no idea what it is. Um, and I, I'm not even sure that I'm going to execute it correctly because I haven't actually watched any videos on this technique. I'm just kind of winging it right now. But it should kind of look like what water looks like right before you're gonna water marble something. I might get wild hair right in the middle of this and actually start drawing stuff in it. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know exactly what's going to happen. But yeah, that's my plan. Um, so I'm gonna shut up now and just get started because who knows how this is gonna go. <laughs> All right guys, it's time to get to the fun part. Uh, I think my lye and my oils have cooled down enough. My oils are at about 95 degrees and my lye water's at about 85. So, uh, one thing you may have noticed is I have switched to a different mixing container for my lye. I ordered some of these polypropylene uh, beakers that are meant for mixing chemicals in uh, because I'm impatient and I got tired of waiting for my lye water to cool down because it always took longer than my oils. And I wanted to be able to dunk it in an ice bath to speed up that process. And I definitely didn't want to do that with Pyrex because those extreme temperatures would cause it to shatter. So uh, I went ahead and bought some of these little beakers. It came in a set of four. I've only got two of them out right now. But these are the smallest two and then there are two even bigger ones than this. They're nice because they've got a handle and a pour spout. And I'm actually going to be using this one to hold one of my colors today. So since I've got five colors and I've only got four of these dudes. So that worked out well. Good timing for those to come in. All right, so 
I'm going to start by adding my sodium lactate over here to my Lai water. Got two teaspoons of that going in. Now, I think what I'm going to do is mix my lye and my oils, get it up to emulsification, and then I'm going to split it in between my little pitchers over here, add my colorants, get, one, get each one up to trace, up to light trace, and then add my fragrance oil. I'm just going to split it between the five pitchers. I read about this fragrance oil ahead of time and all of the reviews are really good. It says it works really well in cold process soap. No discoloration, no acceleration, no rising. So we should be good there, but just to be uh, cautious, I'm going to add that in very, very last and probably just mix that in by hand. We'll see. Uh, so let's go ahead and get mixing. I have not reached trace yet, which I don't want to. So I'm going to stop at this part, at this point, and go ahead and split my mixture into these five pitchers. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I mean, I want it to be pretty much even. But I'm not actually measuring anything. Okay. Get that out of the way. Now let's add our colorants. We'll start with uh, white in this one. I have my half tablespoon measure over here. I'm gonna go with that. Do my yellows. Let's see, do I want a tablespoon or a teaspoon? I'm not sure how dark this is going to be, so I'm going to start with a teaspoon in each of these. That's a pretty color. Starting with my white. Next we gotta add our fragrance oil in, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of, a little bit to each container. Okay, and I am just going to mix these in by hand. My soap is still nice and fluid, so that's good. Is it too fluid? Maybe. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out soon enough. All right, here goes nothing. I feel like these are probably still too fluid, but I'm gonna try it anyway, because I'm not sure I can do the design I want if they're not really, really fluid. I guess the beauty of this one is I can try it with one bar with one of these cavities, and if it doesn't really work, then I can mix them up a little bit more. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. Pour a little bit of each color, one at a time, roughly in the same spot. That wasn't actually the order that I meant to go in, but that's okay. I think it's working, you all. I think it's working. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, let me do another one. chopstick through that. I'm gonna go get one. Why not?
So as you can probably see, my mixture's thickening up on me here at the end and these last few bars are no longer sinking down. They're just kind of running on top of what I already did. So that's okay. It just means I either need to work faster next time or not do this in individual molds. But I really wanted to try it this way just to see if I could pull off having a bunch of individually done rings, which I can, just maybe in smaller batches. I don't know. I think it still looks pretty cool, but it's gonna look pretty psychedelic as this bar melts away, that's for sure. but the only one that I really, really love is this first one that I did. So I'm gonna take this chopstick and play around with a couple of these, I think. I actually do kinda like this one, but I like that one and I like that one. Let's just try some different designs and see what happens. And I am sticking my chopstick all the way down to the bottom to get all of the soap so that it's swirled throughout. I love this color combination though. I'm especially going to love it once that green lightens up, which I already know that it will from the last soap that I made. Um, that's going to end up being kind of a sea foamy green. So I'm thinking this one will end up a little bit bluer and lighter actually than this light one. But I'm not real sure how this light one's going to act, so we'll see. stop messing with it now because if I don't okay just leave it alone Rachel just leave it alone I got a huge mess here don't I let me clean this up a little bit all right so making all of these individually was definitely a lot of work was it worth it I'm not sure yet I think they look pretty cool um I'll be really interested to see what they look like once the color uh, cures in them so I'm gonna go put these in my craft room and let them harden up and we'll be back when they're ready to pop out of the mold so we'll see you then. All right guys, it's been about 18 or so hours, I believe. Uh, and I gave these a little test and I think they're good enough to come out of the mold. And I'm impatient. I wanna get them out and see what they look like on the bottom because look how cool they turned out. I'm really liking the way this green turned. It's not nearly as dark as it was. These are exactly the colors I was hoping I would get out of this. It still smells Mostly pineapple-y. Um, I wish I got more cilantro out of the fragrance than I'm actually getting, but it still smells really nice and fresh. Chris actually walked in yesterday from the store and immediately said, it smells like pineapple in here. Are you making something with pineapple? And I'm like, no, that's the soap I just made. So it's definitely a true to life pineapple. I do wish it had more cilantro, but that's okay. It still smells really, really amazing. This is gonna be really good for um, summer. Let's give it a try and see how they look out of the mold. are so super cute. I probably should have let them sit in the mold just a little bit longer. I had two or three that, as you can see right here, got stuck in the very, very corners of the bottom and did this little number. So no big deal. Again, my soaps are just for personal use, but it does make me a little sad because look how cool the bottoms of these soaps are. Look how neat that looks. Uh, and that's just for me dropping the chopstick in the bottom but I really like that all of them are a little bit different they've got like well they look like leaves on the bottom how cool is that like I almost want to make that the top in some of them here's one that's mostly green on the bottom but still has like hints of other colors that one's pretty cool too and they're cool looking on the sides too here let me find a really good one I mean this one's got like a swirl pattern all the way around well, that's pretty neat. 
This one's probably one of my favorites, actually. I like that one a lot. It's also got like the leafy pattern on bottom. They're all kind of cool on bottom, though. Again, this is one that got torn up on the edge. Very neat. Yeah, I definitely should have let those sit in the mold just a tad bit longer, but that's okay. They're for, per oh, that one's cool. They're for personal use, so no big deal. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is take my vegetable peeler and clean up all the edges, and I'll probably clean the bottoms of these too, and that'll help with those broken edges. Uh, and get some shots of these, and then I'll post those at the end of the video as usual. But yeah, this smells really, really nice and refreshing. This is gonna be a wonderful summer soap. Wonderful summer soap because it is, it is super pineapple-y. Um, again, really wish I got more of the cilantro pop. What I may do in the future is try to find a cilantro fragrance that's by itself and mix one myself because I do like that combination a lot. Would I do this again in this 12 bar mold? I'm honestly not sure. I do really like that I have a different design for every bar, but do I think the extra time that it took to create these was worth it? I really am not sure. I kind of think what I would rather do is get a new mold. <laughs> and I know, like, I, I want all the molds. I want them all. But they make slab molds, which are like this, but without the separate cavities. So it's just one big, either rectangular, rectangular square. You fill the entire mold, and then you can get dividers for them. that are just little plastic dividers that once you fill it, you slip those dividers down into the wet soap. Um, or you can just leave it as is and cut them into logs afterwards. So I don't know. I think that that probably makes a lot more sense than trying to use this cavity mold to get these different designs. Um, I just don't, I'm not sure that the extra time it took was worth it. I am still really happy with how these turned out though and I can't wait to use these. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions or comments or have suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear from you. Again, I will have all of the information about this recipe including the colors I used, the recipe itself, and where you can get equipment like this mold on my blog and I will have a link to that in the description below. So until next time. We'll see you soon on Creative Adventures.